Covering Grand Island, Hastings, and Kearney. Local 4 today starts now. Good morning. It's 6 a.m. on this Friday, March 8th. Let's go ahead and take a live look outside in Hastings right now. Well, yep, as you can see, it is snowing outside and it's going to continue for quite a few hours here and throughout the morning. You better just be careful on those roads. They are a bit slick in spots. Definitely 21 was not fun on my drive in. It was quite slick this morning. We'll get a check of that forecast in just a moment, but here's what we're tracking now on Local 4 Today. As Alyssa mentioned, overnight snow is causing a snow emergency in North Platte and closers across the region. We're going to have the latest. Plus, Big Idea Carney has crowned its newest winner. Find out the life-changing goal she has. And later on in the show, find out how one Grand Island coffee shop has made its way onto the Nebraska Passport Program. Thank you for joining us this morning. I'm Ian Mason. And I'm Alyssa Harrington. Here with meteorologist Travis Gonesky. So yes, a very interesting mm -hmm. morning starting out in... I was kind of sliding around out there. I slid the into our, uh, our parking lot, or yeah. not our parking lot, our driveway here, uh, trying to stop on the highway, and I kind of slid to the very edge of the parking, or the uh, driveway here this morning. But uh, hot off the presses, and now officially an inch of snow measured here in Hastings at the uh, National Weather Service, and uh, just under an inch, uh, 0.8 inches in Grand Island. But that is a far cry from the snow that they've dealt with in Lincoln County this yep. morning, uh, where uh, a new all-time record for one day period was set yesterday in North Platte of 15.3 inches, most of which fell late in the afternoon and during the evening hours. It didn't really start snowing until after 5 o'clock yesterday. There's probably been a little bit of additional snow on top of that since then, but you can see the heavier snows are now shifting into central and southeast Nebraska, north central Kansas, and uh, an additional 1 to 3, 4 inches of snow, not out of the question. It's like not much rain left other than the far southeast here, and it's starting to wind down with just light snow off towards the north and the west. Temperatures out there right now are in the 20s and lower 30s, so we have gotten much colder out there. And as we go through the day today, uh, we're going to continue to see that snow this morning, blowing snow, a big threat as well with strong winds out of the north, 15 to 30, gusts to 35. Snow should wrap up around the middle part of the day and then maybe a little late day sunshine, but it will be chilly with temperatures only getting up into the mid-30s thanks to that uh, fresh snow cover on the ground. So we'll take a look at some of the impacts. We'll look ahead to the rest of today and the rest of your forecast coming up throughout the next hour. Ian, Alyssa? All right, thank you, Travis. And our top story now, it's centered around school closures due to the snow that we're receiving. Starting in the North Platte area, North Platte Community College, our Redeemer, Stapleton, and Wallace will not have classes today. And looking towards the Tri-City area, Kennesaw, Lexington, and Minden have announced closures as well. There is no class at Kearney Public Schools for a professional development day today.